Hi, I'm Amy Collins and I'm a realtor. Hi, I'm Cheryl Nelson and I am a loan officer. And today we're here to talk to you about, from a buyer's perspective, how to make sure that you are set up financially in an effort to be prepared to make the best offer possible. Watch and learn. <laughs> So Cheryl, I'm working with these buyers right now. They want to put an offer in a house. However, they don't have any money for closing costs and they want to put the best offer forward. They asked me if they could ask for sellers to contribute to closing. And I know that they just won't get the house if we do that. Do you have any advice for me from a financial uh, perspective? Great question. Yes, there are a couple things you can do with your buyers. One of the things is to talk to the lender and ask if the lender can contribute towards those closing costs. There are ways that we can give credits within our business that will help cover some of those fees, if not all of them. That way they don't need to ask for the sellers. Also, it's the best time of year right now. It's tax return season. So advise your clients to make sure that if they're getting a tax refund, to set that aside. That can sometimes offset some of those costs. There's also stimulus funds, so if you're getting any of the stimulus funds, don't pay off any debts, don't do anything with your funds, set them aside, talk to your financial lender and find out where would those funds be best for. Great advice. So Cheryl, I'm working with these buyers that they, we went through their pre-approval process and they, they came back with an FHA loan. In today's market, we know that the conventional loan is a stronger loan, and so I talked to my buyers about getting approved for a conventional loan, but they are very concerned because they do not have 20% put down. Do you need to have 20% down in effort to qualify for a conventional loan? No, as a matter of fact, you do not need 20% down. You can go as little as 3% down. Wow. This is for a primary purchase. If you're planning to occupy the property, 3% down is the lowest that you can go with a conventional mortgage. You can do 3%, 5%, 10%, 20%. But if your lender is recommending that 20% down is what you should be doing, you need to be asking more questions. Make sure that the product is right for you and that specifically, that's the best program you can qualify for. But 3% down is what I would be looking for. Wow, great. I had no idea that there's so many different options out there. There are many options and your lender should be giving you all those options so that you can choose. Great. I'll definitely make sure that they're um, educating themselves. For all serious buyers that are out there and you're starting your home search, they should have a pre-approval letter ready to go when working with their lender. Um, from a lending perspective, what do you feel are the most important things that should be captured on that pre-approval letter? Well, Amy, in today's market, it's more important than ever that your pre-approval letter has very few conditions on it. What that means is your lender can be asking for pay stubs, W-2s, asset statements, an appraisal, title work, all kinds of things within that letter that need to be approved before final closing. However, if you're looking at making offers nowadays, you want to make sure that's buttoned up and ready to go and not have a list of conditions in order for that seller to take a look at accepting your offer. So what I recommend is that you work with your lender to take a look at the pay stubs, the W-2s, and the assets. Provide those to your lender up front. Hopefully they can eliminate that from that letter. Therefore, when you submit that offer, it is clean and concise, and you should only need a title search, an appraisal, and homeowner's insurance. As a good loan officer, I should be able to review those documents and take a look at what you've provided me and know that I have a solid buyer. If I have questions, I'm going to submit that file to underwriting, and we're going to make sure that there isn't anything standing in our way. Awesome. Great. So what about if they're going to be paying cash? Will we require um, a proof of funds letter? Do you provide that? We don't. Uh, proof of funds letter is going to come from their banking institution. Oh, yeah. So wherever their funds are currently being held, they'll get a letter from their advisor or their banker that says they have the ability to purchase such said home for the amount specified. And they can do that by offering cash. 
that makes sense. All right, well, hopefully today we've provided you with three solid nuggets of financial lending information on how to make sure as a buyer in today's market that we're setting you up for financial lending success, an effort for you to put your best foot forward when writing an offer in today's hot market. And should you have any additional questions, please feel free to reach out to either one of us. Our contact information is below. And again, if you would like to us to represent you, please let us know. We really do make a great team, don't we, Cheryl? We certainly do. Woo. <laughs> we look forward to working with you. Yeah. <laughs>